Hello and welcome back, it's Jennifer here at JP Smith and today we are going to be making um, coffee ink. So it's something that I developed um, through a process. Now first of all I'll tell you what it is, then I'll tell you how I found it and then I'll tell you how to make it and then I'll show you what you can do with it. Um, oh we need coffee. Um, so basically in case you hadn't noticed I love to decorate things with a bit of coffee. I have a bottle of coffee that is just granulated coffee mixed with hot water in here and I just regularly top it up. It's nice to have it on hand. You don't need to have it like this but because I use it so often and I just either brush it gently around the edges or from a high distance drop um, splodges and I just like the effect that it has for distressing things but also for highlighting things. So um, I, even my little thing there that says free recipe on the Facebook page, um, Facebook group, sorry, JP Smith Art, I quickly changed that, that was before we signed for the patterns, but the patterns and recipes, they're all free on the Facebook group. So don't forget to join in case you miss the details here. So what happened was I was decorating a sign for my YouTube video and it was sitting on, it was quite wet still, and it was sitting on some navy blue paper. And I noticed that the dye from the blue picked up into the splodges of coffee. And I really like that. So I tried it a little bit with some dark green. Um, and there goes the kettle. That kettle is actually boiling for us, so I better get a move on. But um, I'll show you the green as we go anyway, um, and all the other colours. So in order to make, um, um, I thought, oh, well, if, if, we can, if we're leaching out the colour from basic cardboard, envelopes, things that you lie around, that are lying around the house, um, construction paper that you use for children's art, and in fact, the cheaper the, the paper, um, the more likely it is to leach colour out. So I've got a pile of cardboard here that I made last night and basically I'm going to make two at the same time. I do them in the bottles so they just stay there but I'm going to make it here as well so that you can see at the same time. So these are just um, the edges that I cut from there and so I need to be able to get the paper out again afterwards so I don't want the pieces to be too small or well, that doesn't really really matter but I'm basically going to cut this into a few little bits and I can you can put quite a lot more into that I'm just putting that much in so that you can see it here it is finished and it's really quite dark so I'll add paper afterwards so our, in fact, I'm going to do the two blues. No, I won't. I'm going to do red, blue and red. Those are two quite different colours. So I'm going to do the red in here. I've done the blue in there. And I'm now going to cut up some pieces of red. And remember, this is just leftovers. And, you know greeting cards things you get in the mail you'll have to experiment um, yourself these are three pieces of more expensive cardboard and I don't know if you can see but they've got a bit of a charm to them um, and so here's the green one that I made yesterday and it didn't work um, the purple didn't work either there, there is something in this more expensive paper that holds the color in better and it doesn't run so it actually seems to be the cheaper, more porous paper that, um, uh, that works better. So we've got our, our blue and our red. We're going to get our coffee. Now the reason we still I put coffee in it still is because um, a lot of people comment that they like my colours and it's because they have an earthiness to them. So if you add a little bit of coffee to each one, it just it keeps that... It keeps that coffee look. It keeps that um, that edge to the colour that I like when it splodges. Um, it gives it an earthy tone. It's 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 a very close to umber when it's um, when it's dissolved. 
So I'm just going to pop over and I'm going to get the kettle and I'm going to pour boiling water into there and there. Okay, so I'm not putting a lot in because this isn't, and you can see that almost instantly the water's taken on the red and the coffee, mm, I can smell it. I don't drink coffee. I don't like the taste of coffee, but boy, I love the smell. This is a little bit harder to get into and I don't really want to burn myself. There's not a lot um, to see. The kettle down before I hurt myself. But in the same way, you can see that that hot water is much slower than the red, but it's taking on the blue. So I'm just going to get a toothpick. Can you see what that's doing? Oh, it's so lovely. The paper should, the more ink that comes out, the lighter the paper should get. Um, so where's that red paper? You can see that the paper is getting paler as it's losing its colour. Why I like to do it straight in the jar is it can now seep overnight. So what you're landing up with, for basically nearly for free, because um, it's a little bit of coffee, almost negligible hot water and um, paper that a lot of people have lying around the house. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's the brush that I had set aside. It's already got some red on there from the toothpick. As you can see, it's more of a wash. I use it in the same way that I do with the coffee. I either drop it from high and flick it, or I just kind of wash the sides. And so that you can see, now it does, it has, it's very, very high in water. So it's really going to um, absorb into thin paper. It doesn't really like thin paper, but that's been, um, um, what do you call it, decoupage or um, paper mache, whatever you want to call it. And when that dries, that'll come out quite nicely. So let me move all these, oh, that one's hot. I must put its lid on and set it aside. It's trial and error and if it doesn't work you just chuck it out. All you've used is and wasted is a little bit of water. But um, I've got turquoise, green, purple and you can see how they've come out. So it's about 15 minutes later. I don't know if you can see that that red is still wet but most of it is dry. Here I've done one where I've done just a little bit of work on it um, with Sharpies. Um, this is a piece of paper that I've washed in the coffee inks. I'll put up a separate um, YouTube video on how to wash and how to um, do those kinds of things. And this one, which there's a separate um, YouTube video up on how to do this, but um, the the washed out kind of colours in the background. That's the green, that's the straight, the brown is a straight coffee and in there there's the straight coffee, then the turquoise, then the purple in the middle. I've also added some brighter inks. You, I, I can't yet get um, a coffee ink that colour but I intend to try. So thanks so much for joining me. See you next time.